look at that. We had nine people waiting and I'm waiting. So I figured what the hell, I hit the live button. Oh, hey, it's Tim. Pick up Truck Plus SUV Talk. First time to the channel, first time live streams. This is what we do live streams. You talk to me, I talk to you, I show you stuff. Now, it is hot as hell in this truck. So the first couple minutes here, you may hear the AC going. That might be the fan, because it's hot. And I look really like I'm on fire. I'm not on fire. The camera's weird. So hey guys, um, how's everybody doing? I'm gonna let this truck cool down a little bit because I, uh, holy shnikes. I didn't realize how hot it got and, and I'm sitting here roasting. So I got the AC on like crazy and uh, I was gonna listen to music, but yeah. So uh, 60, I had to turn that damn thing down. Let's see, uh, how cold does this go? 60, low, it's on low. So yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> That is gonna be. That's gonna be it. It is. Uh, it says 77 out, but that is some bull. That's bull. Hey Joe, that's bull. That's a lot hotter than that. A lot hotter than that. Sitting in the sun, it is just crazy. Yeah, this is the. Uh, I'll show you the truck. It's hot and humid in Ontario today. Ugh, yuck. Anyways, it's got the big 12. Uh, what's it? 12 inch screen? I think that's what it is. They call it. And the split screen, and you kind of flip through the stuff, and it's pretty damn responsive. Now this is UConnect 4. Five's coming. Five, four, and um, you got the controls down here. What well, interestingly though, I don't have a cooled seat, which I really would want today. I, I don't know why I have all these options. I don't have a cool seat. I don't know what's going on. Um, apps, and I've got climate, uh, mirror dimmer, Wi-Fi wi hotspot. I was tempted to use Wi-Fi hotspot to do this video to see how the how good it would work, but I decided not to. Uh, we have navigation. There's my big property. We have, yeah, the auto stuff. So yeah, so things are uh, things are cooling down. Now, here is the control panel. I know one. I was sitting there and everybody else is sitting here. So I figured, let's just go live right now. Uh, there's the controls there, which, by the way, we have powered seats. There's powered uh, seats, uh, powered uh, um, pedals. So that's pretty cool. So GM's heavy duty trucks got rid of all that. So, you know, that's a cool thing to have. And then you got uh, the electronic... Uh, Parking lock, and uh, that's uh, the 115 outlet in the cargo. I didn't realize that this had. Hey, I'm on. Hey, day one. Uh, you got the lights there. You got the controls here. This is a little funky. Adaptive cruise and then regular cruise. I kind of screwed this up a few times, and yeah, adaptive cruise. Oh, we're doing good fine. Oh, I'm odd. It's just hot. I'm hot. All right, so let's see. Um, oh, there's a gear limit button too, which is usually a heavy duty button, which I thought was interesting there. And okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, screen set up. Let's look at fuel economy. Now, I want to make a point on this too. Trip, uh, yeah, 20.8, but trip was 18. Wow. I've been driving like hell. It's only like 18 miles per gallon. This has got the bigger tires. I did test out the new Duramax, Mr. GM. I got many videos on that. Um, no update on Ford Courier. I did have the F-150 background today. So when I first got this truck, this said 786 miles, and it's got 460, 464 now. I've been towing that big trailer over there and doing some stuff, and man, I really, really killed the mileage on that. This is the uh, interior there too. Oh, and it's got the, the panoramic moonroof. Um, I closed that because of the evil sun. Evil. So yeah, it was, uh, I closed that. Um, yeah, so uh, let's let's talk more with this truck. So this is the Eco Diesel Rebel Crew Cab. Um, I believe and I'll get out of here in a second. It's got Rebel on the seats. I didn't show you guys that. Let me show you. Uh, it, they did. The Rams in Jeep now too. Right there. Okay, Rebel right there. And I got the big console. The console's cool. I like the GM Diesel better, but I this is not a bad one to drive. I got some storage here, although. I did put my phone down there and it like, <laughs> I was like, where the hell to go? Oh, I went down there. All right, and then the uh, big bin here. And then if you want the, uh, I don't know, the math. I'm not good at math, whatever this stuff is. Anyways, it's kind of there. But this actually comes up too. Yep. Yeah, the red interior was pretty cool. The interior is just amazing. Ryan Nagoti is the interior designer. Ryan Nagoti is the interior designer for Ram trucks. I've had him on podcast thing. I haven't done him a video with him, but he's an amazing guy. Really cool. The stuff he comes up with is just amazing. So, all right. It's uh, starting to cool down a little bit more in the truck. I may actually get out. Because you guys want to see the outside, right? And I, you know what I did for you guys? For you guys, I washed it. Yes. 
I paid my 13 bucks to have it washed. 13 bucks to have your car washed these days. That's crazy. All right, so, uh, <sighs> hey, Twin Force. Oh, so let's do this before I get out, because again, this is not from, the, from whiskey. There's no whiskey in the truck tonight. This is from, it's freaking hot out here. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Let's look at the numbers. Oh, yeah, I need one, right? I don't know, let's, let's check. That's the dust from the farm. I was out at the farm with my chainsaw today, so that's just, that is dust from the farm. All right, here we go. Uh, still love the base. Yeah, that's, the, you know, Joe, that's the golf burn. All right, so here we go. This truck starts at 47990 I've talked about the price before, but if you haven't heard me talk about the price before, I've done some social media on it. If you heard me talk about the price, zip it. If you haven't heard the price, guess. Guess in the price below. I want to hear you. Comment. What's your price? Play a little Price is Right with the uh, truck. Where's my, uh, there's my camera. All right, here we go. So we have 1058.57. Okay, we have Rebel, 1500 crew cab, steel, black interior, 55. We have 62 is the highest, really it. 55 low, 61 from Amman. 3 liter turbo diesel, 8 speed automatic. Yes, yeah, stay quiet if you've seen it. Uh, Rumesh says 44, Joe says 63. Uh, standard equipment, uh, electric locking rear axle, 392 rear axle ratio, backup camera, class 4 receiver, 59 from Matt. Uh, let's go optional equipment for a chance to okay, participate. We have we have the customer preferred, which is two hundred uh, eight hundred ninety-five dollars for the safety convenience group, adaptive cruise, and go brake, full speed, all that kind of stuff. Veggie Hildy group four fifty for that. Monotone paint. We have the Rebel twelve package, which is two thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars. I love how the price keeps going up as you guys as I keep reading stuff. Oh, I oh I kind of showed you the price. Let me let me make sure my camera's kind of over here. I gotta hide it. Uh, heated front seat, seated steering wheel, Sirius XM, CarPlay, Rebel twelve. Uh, level two the rear power outlet the 8.4 inch touchscreen which i believe it gets bigger because it goes over here and it's carplay medium hub uh yeah power running trifold you get the diesel for five grand you get dual paint paint room sunroof you get i mean every freaking option they clicked on this 67 you guys are all incorrect total base price is seventy thousand eight eighty with the seventeen hundred dollar destination charge for the Ram Rebel in that 7880. Look at that. And fuel economy is 21, 29, 24, which which I'm sorry guys. You're not you're not getting that fuel economy in this thing. This has got the big tires on it. Yeah, it's seven no 1695 destination charge. And you know that is not negotiable. They, dealers don't negotiate that at all. I'll try to get a little bit closer so it looks so burned up. But yeah. So there you go, 70 grand, 70 grand for a half ton. Yeah, think about that. All right. Okay, you guys wanted to see the outside. I will brave the outdoors, which is like the surface temperature outside is similar to like what, you know, what it was down in like Hades, like the surface of the sun. But I'll do it for you. How we go? There we go. Okay, um, there we go. In and out. And this is interesting. I got this kind of dirty today, which I thought was interesting. This is the the dirt on it, but it really collects the dust. Really collects dust really well, which I was surprised with. But after a rebate, fifty five. So there's a couple cup holders there, but yeah, take my thumb and I'll get a little fluid on it, a little spit there. And it really just I was surprised how dirty it got, how fast. Okay, here we go. We have black on black. I was doing some ACDC when it first arrived, like back on black. There's the front end of the Rebel. There's the front end with the skid plate with the black on tow hooks. I still am not a big fan of the M, like the M or the N or whatever that is. Just like a dupey face. I just wish that, I wish this, there. I wish this line here was there. Yeah, all right, there we go. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah, the tires and wheels are good. Do you think it's worth the price? No. No, I do not think it's worth the price. I mean, all right, look. Here's the thing. It's cool as hell. I'm driving it a lot. I really enjoy it. I would not pay $70,000 for a half-ton truck. Not doing it. But I'm glad he delivered it. <laughs> all right, let's back to this. So we have the uh, running boards on the side, which are not powered, by the way. These are, uh, you, don't get even get, you don't even get powered running boards for $70,000. Blacked out RAM. There you go. 
What would I buy if I had to choose? Oh, it's a tough question. I'll, I'll answer that in a sec. I have the button, the open close button there. I have that. Yeah, that limit is me. It's gonna be crazy. So this is the back seats, right? So the back seats there. And for those wondering, yes, we have uh, rear seat AC vents. We have USBs, all sorts of stuff. And I believe this, yeah, this comes up. And there's uh, uh, that was this. That storage comes out too. But so there's that. They used to have, yeah. They have a big mat back here, but they do have storage in here. You can store your whiskey and stuff in there. So there's that coming around the back. Uh, yes, I got to pick the new FM50. No, I can't tell you about it. Um, open. There's our DEF and our diesel together, which is always important. And, oh, I have RAM boxes. I, I'm telling you, every bell and whistle. And I got, oh, I put my toe straps in there. I was doing some stuff. Uh, Ram box. And then this is the uh, car. I didn't even know this existed. And then I uh, was out the farm and I was like, what the hell? I could have brought my Sawzall. All right, so there's that. And there's the stuff in there. Oh, geez, there's that sun. Oh, and they have the safety latch in case you get you get stuck in here. Yeah, don't ask me how you can get stuck in there. But apparently you can. All right, so coming around here. Yeah, all the bells and whistles are 70,000. Holy cow. So coming around here, we have this. There's the back tailgate. And oh, we have the split tailgate, if you don't know how this works. Dual exhaust back there, two inch receiver. Um, so this, if you push the down, it opens the side, right? So like so. And uh, you can see I've been driving in the country. Look how dirty this is already. This was like in beautiful shape. Yeah, I'm on a diet. I'm on a, um, the problem is I'm on a whiskey and like vodka diet. It's not a good diet, but you know, look at this. All right, so over here, we open this, and this is your 40. Now, I will tell you this, is that if you have a trailer here, which I have, it is nice. You can get in the bed pretty easily with a trailer. You don't have the GMC thing, right? So you don't open like this and come down, right? So you don't have that. You don't have to hit the, hit the ball there. But I don't know. It, you don't have the entrance like the GMC has. So pro and a con, right? So you, you don't have the entrance going in. And, uh, yeah, you don't have the, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. I mean, on the one hand, I wish I had the, the GMC step that came down so I could easily get in the bed. On the other hand, I don't like, I like the fact it doesn't hit the ball. <sighs> no, it's not my hero. I haven't figured out my hero eight on, on that yet. This is just my cell phone. The cell phone works pretty damn good, actually. And then, yeah, there's, this is the tunnel cover, which I, I'm sure it comes down. I can take it down somehow and load stuff up. But, and this was, uh, this is the bed divider. So there you go. And they have lights back here too. Okay, so I showed you the outside and uh, the, the sun of like freaking duh, craziness. Hot is, I'm gonna go inside. I'm going inside the truck. Should we sit in the back? We can sit in the back like we're being chauffeured around. Okay, let's go in the back. Oh, oh wait. Oh. Rebel. Rebel. And then this, um, here's a news flash for you guys today. If you guys are mad about the price of this, why don't you go ahead and bust one of these and find a replacement price in this? This is just crazy. Oh, it's a, it is a, oh, I should show you the other way. So, damp and tailgate, and you get the full tailgate, sorry. Um, yeah, so the damp and tailgate, LED lights, and it's a, uh, yeah, it's spray and bed liner. Spray and bed liner. Yeah, th that's a good point. Somebody's talked about the engine. <sighs> Fine. I'll go look at the engine. I was already hot, all right, but I'll go look at the engine. And yeah, yeah, super expensive. Uh, okay, so I gotta find the button. Hold on. Um, do 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 do. There it is. I'm sure Ram HD will get it. So the new Ram will probably get all the cameras HD has, and then yeah, the other one will get it. So here we go. All right. So you guys are getting on the tripod. Sorry. Putting you on a tripod. Oh look, hands free. You have the tripod. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pop the hood, then I'll bring you in closer. So one momento, one momento. Okay, that was fairly easy. <coughs> Let's go closer. Let's go closer. Okay, so now you guys are here. 
Oh yeah, that's my uh, that's the monument. You can follow my Instagram. I always post pictures. Um. Okay. So. Yeah. You can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> All right. Yes, I'm short. I can't see anything. So I'm gonna move the camera so you can see something. All right. Here we go. You guys get the aerial view. I can't see it. You guys can see it. Where's Dipstick at? Find a dipstick, guys. Who sees a dipstick? Who sees a dipstick? Dipstick? Dipstick. No, I don't see the dipstick either. Holy cow, I don't see the dipstick at all. <laughs> We've officially lost the dipstick. It's gone. Maybe not, but somewhere. Really, I can't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dips to get on the camera. Holy cow, is it hot in there? No, I have no idea where that's at. I, I have none. Yeah, I, uh, I. Well, no, COVID, Elliot. I can't fly. Yeah, I don't see anything at all. You guys see anything at all? I don't see anything at all. Okay, wait a minute. All right, let's get back in the truck. Holy cow. My phone may overheat. I had to get in the truck. Oh, Captain Staben. All right, Captain. You want to talk about that story? I'll talk about that story. Whew. All right. Uh, Eco just is different than the Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. All right. I'm going to... Hold on. Let me get this camera set up a little bit better. That I can do this. Captain Staven brings up a question about Thunder Dude 34. So, um, let me tell you the story. And the story as I know it, because Mark and I have been talking offline for a while now. So, is this thing cool enough? Ed? Can I just do. I feel like there's lots of fans that you guys can't hear me. Okay, I'm going to control the. Here, I'm going to do it like this fans. There, I can hear you guys. I don't want you guys to hear all the fans. Okay. Oh, uh, 70,000. 70 grand, Grant. Um, so, if you guys don't know the story, is that TFL did... <laughs> you stop, William? Uh, TFL did a video with the Bronco, like, pictures got from engineering. They did it, like, on a Tuesday. And Ford called them up and was all pissed off about it. Uninvited from events, uninvited from different stuff, and like they got rid of all their access to the press fleet. TFL can't use any Ford vehicles at all. I do. I have big Santa cheeks. Um, they can't use any vehicles at all. Ford's really pissed off. Two days later, Market Thunder Dude 34, which is a, a Toyota fan based channel, I'm going to move a little closer. They uh, he ran a story, a video on the next generation 2022 Toyota Tundra. He got photos from an engineer behind the scenes. I don't know what it is engineers this time of year. They're like hot and they're like cranky, whatever. They're sending photos they shouldn't send at all. So his video goes up and I, I get, I didn't see the video, but I, I saw the notification and I was busy doing something and I, I didn't click. And um, I'm sorry, Mark, I, I should have clicked. I didn't click, I saw it. And uh, so the next day I get a message, urgent message from Mark. And he's like, hey, do you got a minute? Can we talk? And so I called Mark and him and I talked on the phone for a while. And it turns out the information he got on the 2022 Toyota Tundra was completely accurate. And it was completely accurate from engineering behind the scenes. And Toyota immediately put a copyright claim on his video and they took it down. Like they, they, Toyota engineers went to town, or uh, engineers, lawyers went to town, and they got it taken down. They claimed that the imagery that he used was copywritten and that it was going to be a uh, you know, whole thing. So. Mark's calling me because he's getting all sorts of Toyota people are reached out to him and the chief engineer is like, you caused a big storm at Toyota headquarters today and there's a lot of stuff going on. And so Mark's like, I didn't want to be in any trouble, but I have images and news from it. So we talked for a while and he told me the news. And so yes, I know what the 2022 Toyota Tundra is and I know what the 2021 Ford F50 is. Sorry, I can't tell you that. I'm not gonna tell you that tonight. So Mark and I have been talking offline. He's got, yeah. David Boyd knows this thing. David Boyd from Nissan Nation Productions 
he reached out to me at first kind of conversations and I helped him through this thing. I don't know how the hell I'm in the middle of all this stuff. I had nothing to do with this stuff. And yeah, so all this stuff came out. So Mark is going to have a conversation with headquarters because apparently Toyota Japan has gotten involved and their legal team is investigating and they are doing everything they can to find this engineer and basically can his ass. Uh, can who gave it out and they're tracking it down. So Toyota is not happy. Uh, Ford is not happy. Um, I'm getting happier because it's getting cooler in here. But yeah, that's... Uh, oh, look, Van Halen's now playing. Eh, I don't know. Somebody set the priest up Van Halen. Every time it comes up Van Halen, it shows up. Anyways, uh, that's... That's behind the scenes. So yeah, I'm, uh, the, the picture was the, it basically was the product planning for the 2022 Toyota Tundra. It went through trim levels, it went through engines, it went through design. I'm not sure if it got all of the, I don't, I didn't see it, didn't get on information, but he, uh, he deleted what he had and kind of, you know, Mark's, Mark's got a good channel going, but he's not like a huge channel. So he doesn't want to piss off too many people, right? Cause if, is if his entire channel is on Toda and the Tundra, and he pisses off Toda, and they never give him another Tundra. It's like crazy. Uh, how is, so yeah, so that was that was the thing. If you guys, that's the background. Mark and I've been talking. How is my channel done in the first half? But people thought, I, I didn't see the pictures of the design. I don't know that he saw much of the design um, overall. I don't know. I don't. He didn't talk about that. We were talking engines, talk about power trains and uh, things like that. And they're trim levels and such but and there's still some stuff to be ironed out this is still way early in the process so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting no, yeah no we're heated seats so <laughs> I have to tell you I initially got this truck and I was really excited about it and I'm still excited about it I had a bunch of stuff to do and uh, yeah it was a silhouette I saw it before taking it out yep so I don't think he got a real design he got a silhouette of it and there's just yeah that kind of thing um, anyways I was excited about this truck and I drove it and I was having a good, enjoying it. Then I did the F-150 backgrounder today with Ford from Michigan and I can't talk about anything I, I know. And uh, I got in this truck and I was like, man, this really sucks <laughs> compared to what I just saw. Um, yeah, yeah. So Sean saw Mark's video and didn't say much of it, but Toyota sure had a problem with it. They really had a hot problem with it. Yeah, stop talking about what you can't talk about. Okay, I'm stop talking about what I can't talk about. Now, uh, Queer, you had a, a William or whatever you want to go by. You had a, a question about the first half of my video or something like that. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but anyways. Huh. Wow. Okay. Calming down. Lots of drama in automotive media world lately. First half year. Oh, first half year of the channel. Um, uh, I had a really rough March and April, and this month is doing a lot better. No cold seat. Uh, yeah. Uh, no cold seat. Uh, yeah. It's, no, I... Uh, things are bouncing back. You guys have really blown things apart. And the the advertising's back. And it's just crazy. Their views are down. My views are going up. Like, big time. I can't... I'm shocked, <laughs> to be frank with you. I mean, I'm, I keep doing what I'm doing. And I'm actually... I'm actually reporting less than what I was last year. Because there's less news. And I don't want to fill your feet up with, like, bull. I mean, who cares? You know, I don't want to make garbage up. But, yeah... I was uh, I was surprised at how well things are bouncing back. Yeah. Yeah. So th yeah, there's no cool seats, and I I would use them right now. Redline and Alex's views are in a tank. Really. Sorry to hear that. I um. My, I just I feel like it's so. I wish I had a little thing here. We may have to go inside. I may go inside the computer. Uh, yeah. Do you guys want to go inside the office? I think I want to go inside the office. Anybody go inside the office? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I was uh, um. Interesting about that. Are you going to the F one fifty Ford event? I was. I did watch the truck. Uh, they're not having an event. It's all uh, digital reveal. There is no in person event. So I did the backgrounder today, and then I did the uh, uh, doing. I'll be. I'll be watching the reveal on Thursday. I'm not. No suds and water. I wouldn't paid somebody. <laughs> Burn out. Do it for Dale. No. <laughs> EcoBoost or Coyote? I would go Coyote. I, I, I like, I just like a B8. Um, last time I did a burnout, last time I did a burnout, it was in a live stream like this, and I, I did it, and there was two people riding a bicycle behind me. Can we drink beer in your office? Yeah, I can drink beer in my office. I don't have any beer upstairs, though. I just go downstairs to get it. Um, so, yeah, I was, uh, I don't, I'm actually out of whiskey. That's, this is the problem. This is where Super Chats, like David's talking about, this is where I need Super Chats more whiskey. 
Anyways, yes, a mod member seeing that, and I I felt so bad because I threw rock at all these little girl and his mother drive ride the bike or something. I felt terrible, James. It was it wasn't very good. So no, I'm not doing a burnout because I've learned my lesson on that. Burnouts cause problems. <sighs> I remember you. Oh, you see, you saw that. <laughs> Have you done the hybrid ram? I have done the hybrid ram. Um, I've done the hybrid ram. I don't. I didn't think it was. I thought it was cool. You know, what I liked about the hybrid ram. Let's go to the office. Um, a hybrid ram. <laughs> the kids at the bike all of bed. Has a electronic water pump, and it makes a difference because when you're sitting in stop and go traffic, and the truck does its auto shut off bowl, that electric water pump will still cycle the water yes i did see the f-150 it'll still cycle the water through the cabin so you still get cool air versus the gm trucks and i think ford's current truck has a uh, belt driven water pump which means as the truck goes in auto start stop mode the you do not get you do not get cooled air best truck for your first truck i'd go oh, man i i'm just an old school guy i own a 62 80 square body. I'd go, if I do my mid first truck, I'd do like a Frontier. Like a Nissan Frontier is really inexpensive and that's a perfect little mid sized truck before the 2021 comes out. But something kind of like that, something inexpensive, not a whole lot of tech, you know, just kind of enjoy it. Um, these Rams are really nice, but man, it's just a lot of money for a first truck, personally. But I'd, I'd go a little bit smaller or I'd do like a base truck. Yeah. Uh, it circulates, yeah, so it circulates water, so it just keeps the, the, the airflow going. I am getting a 2020 Nissan Titan. It is coming, and uh, it's coming uh, sometime in July, I believe. Was it, I don't think the Jeep EcoDiesel is any bit different than the Ram EcoDiesel. I don't know. Uh, Captain says, buy Ram. They seem like the only manufacturer that isn't managed by a bunch of sissies. That's true. <laughs> is it going to get damaged by? No, I do. I think I have one coming. I think I have one coming. Yeah, I can't say. It's You guys have to watch when I watch. I actually don't get any real images or B-roll till 2 p.m. of that day. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that this one has start-stop, but the, I'm talking about the, all the Ram trucks. Uh, I, I like the Ram, but I don't think the Hemi is going to engine for long haul. I don't know. I had some conversation today about the Hemi's been out since 2009, and somebody was not impressed in the fact it's a hybrid now. They're like, they should have done more. And I'm like, a hybrid's not enough? Like, a 48-volt hybrid's not enough to improve the engine? They're like, no, should have a lot more improvements. And I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. If you haven't been here for a while. There. No, no, I'm not going to tell you about the F-150. Uh, the F-150 debut, no, there, it's, it's, it's digital reveal. There is no... Um, yeah, there is no in-person reveal. No, it's all online. Maybe Supercharger. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, Captain Statement, I, I'm with you. I don't know why it uh, needs it. And the value in the... Uh, no, it's on my Instagram. I took a picture of that today. It's, it's right there. It's, yeah, um... How about the Bronco? Jesus Christ. Okay, so, uh, yes, value in diesels. I enjoy driving them. You can tow better with them i think than the gas engines and yeah i'm a big fan of the half ton diesels i just don't want to spend the money they're really expensive name of the monument is scott's bluff s-c-o-t-t-s-b-l-u-f-f -F. it's not yeah if i was in dearborn i could see it i know all right i'm going inside right, nothing but problems all right i'm going inside you guys can holy cow i have to grab my tripod though hold on it's too damn hot out here uh yeah here. Yes, I saw. Did you guys see the photos? I put the photos up on my Facebook group, my Facebook page. Uh, I think it was. Oh, those little girls will steal. Hell yeah, they will. Um, let's do the. Let's lock the key so I can do the. I have the big damn key fob. I oh, I can double do the tailgate down. I have the double tailgate button. No, my my youngest likes doing that kind of stuff. My oldest, he could care less. It's not Minecraft next box. He don't care. Okay, we're going through. Hot as blazes. Hot as blazes. Mission's warranty on this ram. Eh, I'll grab it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to Arizona. You know, in the winter, I'm like, man, I can deal with the heat. And then in the summer, I'm like, man, heat sucks. I want the cold. <laughs> it's like 87 or something today. It's supposed to be like 98 in a couple of days. I'm staying inside. 
I'm, uh, yeah. Is your son excited about that? <laughs> you guys are trying so hard, it's so funny. Okay, well, leave this here. Maybe. Yes, I did. I saw the photos. I put it on the thing. All right. Yes. Cold is my thing. It's hot out there. I'm coming inside. All right. Here we go. To the office. Oh, did you guys see the puzzle I did? So. Uh, let's see. I should grab my selfie light. Yes. I, did I like the FM50? Yes. I thought they did some really cool stuff. Is that all I'm saying? Maybe. That's all I'm saying on camera. I'm not going to be uninvited. Uh, yeah. The wife is... <laughs> the wife ignores me half the time. Yes, I saw the Brocco leaf. You keep asking about it. Yes, I did see it. Uh, all right, scorching hot. Let's see. Let's get you guys in the screen so I can read your comments. That's the hardest part doing those live streams like this. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so Captain, the uh, 6.4 liter Ram, here's the deal, is um, I reached out to my contact, and uh, she said they have one coming to the fleet, and it turns out, guess who, Andre is driving up from Michigan right now to Denver, and I get it on the July 22nd. Yeah, Mike has it right. So basically, I get, I get the uh, Andre's hand-me-down. That's an all right hand-me-down. Let's, go, let's see if I can go to my live stream. Can I go to my live stream? Uh, my channel? I've never actually looked at my live stream. You guys are on this live stream. Maybe I should switch accounts. Uh, no, I don't want to switch accounts. Um, oh, I'm live now. Okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> I'm currently watching the commercial. And I'm, no, I'm not skipping ahead. Oh, there you guys are. All right, uh, tell, tell us more about the new Tundra. I can't decide to buy an old model before they go away. I can write, hi guys. Hi guys. Oh, I am really caught up blood. All right, so uh, yeah, so I wish I wish Toyota would do something too. It should be February of next year. They're talking quarter four, so quarter four new Tundra. Much better video quality. Yeah, inside it's like a not so freaking hot. Uh, do like the key. I don't know the key fob for these sun and this thing are massive, right? Come here. The size of that damn thing. And then I have this separate key. Hey Joe. I have a separate key for, I think this is for the RAM boxes. Let's look at all this stuff. How many batteries? Little fob, little fob, little fob. I'm not just have a twin turbo V6 pickup. Well, that's the future. Yeah, I think it's ridiculous. I think that, oh, I should, uh, oh, I've met the, my, myself. Um, future is going to be twin turbo V6. Hybrids, V8, probably going to be going down the road. And I don't think that's right. But that's what the kid tell me. And uh, Ford told me today that their 3.5 liter and 2.7 liter account for 30, or 60% of their sales. 60% of their sales are those two EcoBoosts. EcoBoost. EcoBoost? EcoBoost. Not EcoBoost. EcoBoost. Um, yeah, so I just can't really. I can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, three quarter on every V8 do the APA. What's interesting about it, though, Captain, is I did a video on the Safer Act that Trump administration put through, and they were trying to make sure that the V8 stays. But the automakers are like, no, we're going we're going our other way. We don't care about what you're going to talk about. So the EPA was trying to roll it back, but they've just gone so far that they have to go move forward. Yeah. Uh, yeah. EcoBoost, yeah, the ride goes out. It's, intercooler was an issue for a while. It's kind of crazy. How many caps are on the rack? Hmm. William's got all these questions. All right, so what do we got? You guys want to see the rack? So I got a Chevy hat, which I thought was cool. This is the uh, 100 years of Chevy trucks is on the side. That's the event I went to. Uh, let's see. We have the Nissan Titan that's got the cool, like, um, sticker on it. Uh, the uh, rip-off badge. We have the built Ford Tough, which I actually, if you can see my sweat marks, I wore this, and I never got another one. So I'm like, I need another one. I got the GMC, which is a nice, it's a nice hat. It's a... Uh, it's a Nike kind of running hat, so it's really kind of nice. Uh, I got the Ram. I think this Ram hat's pretty cool. I like the Ram. I got the old school kind of Toyota looking hat with the, uh, it's got the ripped out stuff, right? Have you guys keep track of how many hats I have? Let's see. Oh, I can do it over here. Um, I have the Tacoma TRD Pro in Hawaii. I was there playing uh, golf and I was enjoying it. And we had this stuff with Hawaii there. 
And I have the Nissan Titan. I have another Titan. I guess I have two Titans hats. Interesting. Uh, no, uh, no Frontier hat. Could be a thing. You have the 100 Years of Chevy book, which is right there, by the way. And I have a 100 Years of Dodge book next to it, which is really kind of cool. Uh, Showing you your rack. <laughs> uh, I have a Cummins hat. I have a Honda hat. And then this is my... My friend, my cousin, Mike Funkhauser, does home inspections in eastern Nebraska, so I put his hat on there, helping the family out. But yeah, I think I got RBD kind of uh, done. I have, guys, I have more hats. I have a lot more hats. And I could do another rack. But yeah. <laughs> uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 hats. Oh, and I have another hat over here. This is the people that sent me whiskey. I, I, I found their hat the other day. It's Traverse City Whiskey Hat. And then I have my... Uh... All right, you guys want to see my coolest hat? You guys want to see my coolest hat? My Indiana Jones hat. Yeah, Indiana Jones. I'm getting a cold drink. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you guys. i got 30 minutes to talk to you guys. Yeah, yeah, it's the coolest hat I, I own. I bought this in Montana. Or my friend calls it Moontana. All right, this is a wool... Cassie Crusher, water repellent, UPF protection, Outback Trading Company. And yeah, that's when I go fishing with a hat. I like fishing on this. A fedora, I'm not wearing a fedora. Wow, that hair. <laughs> it's not bad. I had a haircut recently. That's why I always wear a hat. All right, stay Thursday, my friend. <laughs> I will. Should have wore that today for the sun. I should have done it. Oh, that would have been great. Uh, I've seen more videos of people doing it. After will not go V8, or we'll just turn up boost. I know, but I, I, I don't like the sound. I mean, the sound is such a big part of that truck, right? I mean, why wouldn't you buy it if you don't want to sound cool? That's kind of my opinion. But they sell them, and they, people buy them, and okay. Uh, I mean, Danbury, Connecticut, where I was born, big deal, right? I think Stetsons are pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, Joe, you asked this twice. I'm trying to keep up. This is a weird live stream because it was hot as hell outside. Uh, let's see. In your opinion, what auto brand has the best logo, most appealing? Hmm. I mean, uh, hmm. That's a good one. That is a really good one. I, maybe I'd say, yeah, no, you're fine, Joe. I just, yeah. Um, Ford's got a cool logo. They all got cool logos. I don't know if there's one that's more appealing. Um... I, I kind of like them all. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think they're all... Yeah, that's a really good question. Yeah, Ford's classic logo or that Chevrolet classic logo I have there. That's a pretty cool logo. I mean, that was pretty cool. Um, Wade wants to know, what press cars are in the pipeline for you? Let's see, I have the Ram. Next week I have a Ford Expedition. And then they're supposed to schedule me out in the Nissan Titan and something else. My other uh, press fleet has been like kind of back and forth what they want to do. And uh, I'm supposed to get the Ram 6.4 liter. We talked about 2500. That's uh, that's going to be um, in end of July. So, yeah, good stuff. And I have hey Johnny Five is in the house. He stopped his truck and put it in park and come to join us. Um, I, I have some ideas to go to the Ford dealer. The Ford dealer's got an F450 with a headache rack and a flatbed on the back. He has no no box back there. And I thought I'm going to get that truck and show you guys how to get in that bed with that flat rack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. So I'm talking about that. Get, let's get a journalist to debate logos. No. That's just a crap video. Sorry. <laughs> just interesting. Oh, you're in a sleeper. Sh Sean's driving. Hey, Sean. Can we get a shout out to Sean? Everybody say hi to Sean. Sean's his trainer. Johnny Five's in training to do a semi-truck driver, and it's really fun watching his stuff. You would get a ton of views for that 450. Yeah, I think so. I think I want to do that. Uh, thanks for the live streams. Hey, take it easy there, Duggo. Um, four rings should have been special for the Olympics. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think it's interesting. The Kai logo. <laughs> Sean can't hear you. Sorry. Ugh. That's so bad. Sean was taking photos of prairie dogs. And I told him, I said, dude, I said, prairie dogs are good shooting around here. And I don't know what he was thinking. He was just taking these photos of little cute prairie dogs. Oh, do you guys want to see the best cup ever? This is, you guys still on. This is the best cup ever. Wait a minute. Okay. I don't know if I've shown you this cup, but this cup is just all my personality rolled in one. So this is, I had this, I had this done in Michigan, by the way. It's the top Nebraska automotive journalist of the year award. My name, right? 
for 2014, 15, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020 plus. <laughs> so my, my friend was like, my, I guess my cousin goes, he goes, how'd you get this award? Congratulations. I'm like, well, I made it up in my head and gave it to myself. He goes, what if another journalist comes in town and, and maybe he's a little bit better than you and he, he, you're going to give us an award? I said, it's my award. I'll do whatever the hell I want with it. I'm not going to give it to somebody else. What the hell? It's my award. <laughs> oh, the Nissan, the Nissan Cup. I don't know. If, Nissan Cup. Where's the Nissan Cup? Where are we guessing? All right. Um, a prairie dog is a, the small little, you might call him a chipmunk. They destroy grassland out here. It's a big issue. Cows step in and twist their ankles and destroys farm road. It's just crazy. Yes, the best award. In it. Yes, I'm telling you, it's a great award. Say so you got you're not an influencer. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know, influencer is such a weird thing. Tim, you're the only automotive journalist in Nebraska. Joe, Joe, shh, that's our secret. That's between you and me. That's our secret. Um, you forgot to make a video with your brother, hot wife. <laughs> he doesn't have. He's not currently married, and he's going through women. It's kind of fun. He's having a good time. Uh, you will see it fade away. What the heck? It's, it's, what's with this cup? Oh, our prairie dog. Yeah, prairie, a prairie dog. I guess what I, I call a prairie dog? I call it something else. I don't shoot the damn things. Yeah, that's a prairie dog. Uh, super pest. Oh, yeah, they're crazy. Good job, Joe. Keep it a secret. Um, I did a video on it two weeks ago. What, we was feeding your prairie dogs. Don't feed the prairie dogs. Feed them... Feed them um, salt and poison that's what we want to feed them uh you going in october is sema gonna happen i doubt it uh cup thanks sarah check it out i know about the cup too oh that cup what cup <laughs> the, the, the bat mobile zl one was a great alternative oh yeah 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 that that came around more. yeah it was cool all right what else is going on in here i feel like i'm i'm struggling with you guys tonight i don't know why Maybe because I'm not drinking. I should really have a drink. This is so much better when I drink, isn't it? Isn't isn't your feedback like Tim should get drunk on camera more often because it's it's a good time. Uh, we got called. We got I gave them some of the off-brand goldfish called whales because there is no truck. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, go get a drink. Well, I gotta go all the way downstairs to get a drink. It's gonna be like a a good five minutes. No, not five minutes. It'll be like two minutes. All right, two minutes. Two minutes to get a drink. Does it? So who else? You guys gotta comment below. I am in my office, but I'm not. I don't have anything to drink. Uh, do you know anything about the straight turbo six Ram engine? Tim, is that still on? Uh, you know, I hear this stuff, and I didn't. I didn't know anything about it before. Somebody commented on that, and I was like, "Huh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I haven't heard about that." You know, the Gladiator diesel is being released. Oh, Mike should have been released a while ago, right? Um, but I think COVID totally screwed things up. Do you think Ford learned a lesson about the V6 versus V8 from Nissan Nation Productions buying the old and new Raptor? I don't, they're selling trucks. I don't think they really care. Um, I, mean, I need to get a beer too, so go. You have a, I have a Ranger video. Here, I'll go get a bar, a, a beer. <laughs> um, somebody share with him the Ranger videos. They got 350,000 views or something. Any upcoming videos we should be waiting for? Yes, F-150 video is coming out. And I got like two or three of those things. Hold up. We're going to see the game. It's 42 people on right now. How many people will be on if I run out of the basement, get a beer, and come back? Ready, set, go. Ah, 42 people are still on. That's, that's awesome. Oh, I have several Ranger videos, by the way. Everyone lock off. Don't be locking off. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yes, we are out. 
as fast as I can go. All right. They gained one beer while I was... We're up to 45 now, and I ran and got a beer. That's great. Oh, the power's of YouTube. Huh. Okay, look. How was a 1500 diesel? Big fan of it, Mike. Big fan. Driven it many different times. Big fan of it. I'm doing some towing with it this time. I've done a lot more towing, so... That's just a great truck. It's, uh, it's so hard to beat. Um, I just like the diesel, the power off the line, the fuel economy. It's really nice. Although I'll be curious why I get fuel economy with this Rebel because bigger tires, higher off the ground, you know, physics. Can't fuel economy. Maybe you'll leave more often to became viewers. <laughs> uh, Thomas says, I'm shopping for a truck now I'm wide open. Really? So share some details, Thomas. Are you uh, like half ton? Are you heavy duty, mid-size? What are you doing? Details. The Kenworth uh, hen, Lisa, I thought you were wearing it. No, I, I only have, I don't have any whiskey tonight. I'm out and uh, I just have some beer left over. No ice. Shaken, not stirred. Mm -mm. So Mike, let me clarify. I like the Silverado diesel better than the EcoBoost diesel, or e uh, Eco diesel from Rams diesel. I like Rams interior better than Chevy's. I like Chevy's diesel better. And I think that you have better reliability with Chevy over the Ram. But I like Ram's tech better than Chevy's tech. So yes, so there, I'm, I'm being a bias because I'm telling you, there's, what's up? All right, I'm out, I'm, I'm, get, I'm out, I'm sorry. I'll get some whiskey next time. Having at the farm, we hunting plants. So I put in for a, um, a deer tag. I, have, I put in for, I actually didn't get my deer tag. And so I put in for the uh, buck tag that's really expensive in Wyoming. And so, yeah, I'm going to uh, have that buck tag. Is it laggy? I'm sorry if it's laggy. Um, the farmer's gonna stick around for a while. Uh, you're getting a glass of penland? You're killing me. I wanna make it in fun and fast cars and SUVs. That is true. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, there's so much potential in these sil six cylinder diesels once they're tuned and deleted. So I discussed this guy on, on, maybe you're the same guy on Instagram. This guy was going to go back and forth. And I was, list, I was watching a Gail Banks interview. If you don't know Gail Banks, he's a famous tuner of diesels and such. And somebody asked him about tuning and deleting. And he says, deleting is done. That's illegal. That ship has sailed. You're not getting, it's the same guy. And <laughs> Gail Banks said, you're not getting any more benefits. He said, people are cracking down. The EPA is cracking down. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bad deal. Now, what I didn't tell you, Henry is I do agree you can get some benefits doing that. I do agree. I, I, I'll give you that one. You're, you're right. But I can't tell you that deleting a, a diesel is the right thing to do. That, it just, it, it, it doesn't square with this channel and what I'm, what I'm trying to be factual with information. I have to tell you that if you delete your diesel, it's illegal. And if you tune it, if a company tunes it as a deleted diesel and they see it, they're held responsible by this new EPA police that's really going after people. So. I, I, I can't condone deleting diesel. I can say the yes. More airflow, cleaner airflow, less restrictions is better for every engine, right? So it's like, it's that's what it is. So yeah, that, that's, my, that's my thing, sorry. Um, yes, you lose points for drinking White Claw. Oh, jeez. Half ton sale on under 26,000. Half ton. On sale, oh, under 26000 Boy, that's a work truck. That's like a, a regular cab or a extended cab work truck. Twenty six is tough. Wow. GM does wax the frame, which I've gotten some million-mile trucks that have wax frames. So I, it's an interesting discussion. Uh, D-Max is a freaking beast. I'm not sure we get the hell meet that. It is. Uh, GM diesel is nice. It is. But the, oh, the Eco Diesel being laggy. Um... I suppose I haven't driven. I mean, I haven't driven for a while, so I will definitely check that out, Mike. I um, drove it around a lot today, and just I, I don't know. Maybe they can always tune the the transmission a little bit, take away that lag a little bit. That's typically what you're feeling is transmission finding for gears and set up, and then they can change because it's a EcoDiesel is a turbo, right? It's got turbo on it. They can tweak that turbo type. Boy, it's trying to think. List trucks one through five, please. Oh, did I watch RBC Heritage? We talked about this, Joe. I, I try to watch golf on TV. I'm just too damn busy right now. During summer, it's 
not bad. In wintertime, I love watching them play Hawaii when it's nice and freezing cold outside. That I dream about like being there. That's what I do. Huh. Okay. So, if I were to list trucks one through five, here's the problem with me, is that I love all the trucks, and I can make an argument on each one. Now, what trucks I'd, here, I will do the five trucks I want to own. How's that? Five trucks I want to own. Um, I, I, I'm going to come with, comes to my head. It was coming to my head. I, one to five is going to be weird. I want a Silverado 6.2 liter with the eight speed or 10 speed, a uh, 10 speed in the um, work, uh, work truck custom trail boss. Work, you can get a work truck, truck custom with the trail boss package. So you get the lift and everything. And yes, I can't reach the dipstick, that's fine. But I still like the lift of it, it's cool. I put running boards on it, my short ass can't get in. Okay, fine. But I really like that truck. You get the configuration you want without paying all the extras. I don't need the big interior fancy stuff. I just turn on the radio half the time. I don't really pay a lot of technology stuff, not a big deal. Apple CarPlay and that stuff, that's cool, but I don't really do that. Uh, the other truck I want, and truck I would buy, is uh, a power wagon. My God, the damn thing is awesome, right? I mean, a power wagon, I wish I had a diesel, but sure, it's just a gasoline power wagon. That's a cool ass truck. I would just buy the power wagon, crew cab set up because I use the winch every time I get one. I always have to do a winch with something. And for a reason, I have to do that winch. What, your power wagon? I would do a 55 and a 2020. <laughs> I really like the 55 V6 kind of stuff. That stuff, that, those old power wagons are freaking awesome. That's really cool. Um, I don't own a Raptor. Raptor's cool, right? I just Raptor. I mean, it, 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 that's a cool truck. They've done a good job of that truck. Um, I would drive a Raptor all day long and had no qualms about going to Walmart with it and back because it's a Raptor. Yeah. Oh, you can do a Tradesman power wagon. You can, I, I can see that. That could be one of those things, too. Um... Yeah, the Sierra Denali. I do the AT4 because you get the AT4 I iconic truck. Yeah, the power wagon. Oh, they do a great job of those. There's a company outside of um, Jackson Hole I went and visited on this channel, or one of the early videos that does Legacy. I went to Legacy over the other side of Jackson Hole there in uh, Idaho. And yeah, it's really cool. And so um, I would do a Raptor for sure. And I did a GMC AT4 with diesel. Yeah, I, I, the Denali, I don't like the way the new, new Denali, Denali is. I think they, they screwed up the interior. It's not that great. And I do I do a Nissan Frontier. I run a Nissan Frontier. Um, I owned a Toyota Tundra. And uh, I've been into, I can't sit in Tacomas very well. I just, my body doesn't sit well. I get talked about it all the time. It's my, I, I have sh short legs and big torso or whatever. And so, yeah, I just, uh, I can't do the Tacoma. The, uh, the I've driven the hell out of them. I really enjoy driving them. And when I was younger, I, there was a lust-worthy thing about Dean Tacoma. I was like a big fan of getting it. But now it's like, I just, they don't have the same to me. It just seems like they dropped the ball a little bit. That, And, I, and I've and i owned the 2013 Tundra because the 2014 got rid of sliding recline rear seats. And so I was like, man, that's stupid. So the trucks are the same except for those two things. So I was like, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I haven't driven a new Titan, so I, I guess I can't say too much about that. But um, I, I would that, ah. Uh, I, I don't own a Frontier. A Pro 4X Frontier, I don't own it all day long. It's just a perfect truck. But I'm such a practical guy, you know what I mean? It's just a, I like a basic truck. I like basic features, and yeah, I just... I mean, I drive a 62. I mean, that's what I drive, so... So, yeah. So, th there's my there's my 1 through 5. I don't think I've ever done that. New Titans in the fleet. Yeah, I'm supposed to get it sometime. Um, okay. Well, I buy the 2021 <laughs> F-150. You keep trying. Uh, what about a less than 70,000 Rebel? Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. The Rebel's been pretty cool, but I think th they need the front camera. I think they need, um, it just, they need, they need more to it. And the arrow, every time I do the arrow on the, the Ram trucks, I forget about it half the time. I did use it today because I couldn't get my hitch out and I had to like step on it and lower the truck down. But I always forget about the arrow. And so that's a big thing for people is it's that the, um, air, air compression in it so you can raise it and lower and all kind of stuff. And I forget about that in Rebel all the time. I just off road with it. I completely forget about that feature. So it's just that, it's just too many features for what I would just use. I like putting the locker on and just going. You know, that's kind of my thing. That Tacoma seat is terrible. It's just a weird position. <laughs> Talk trucks. Anytime I do a video, if I do a video on trucks, I'm getting more views. It's just the way the channel is built, which is fine because I love talking about trucks. Easy. No brainer. Uh, Nissan great for the money. I agree. What about the Thunder TRD Pro Tim? Oh, 
it is cool. That TRD exhaust is freaking awesome. I drive the TRD Pro Crew Cab. I like the Army Green. I did a video on it. I'm a big fan of that. 15 miles a gallon. And I know people are like, well, you bought a truck, so you shouldn't care about fuel economy. That's a load of bull. I know a lot of truck guys who are like, they want good fuel economy too. So come on. Oh, what about ZR2? I forgot about the ZR2. The ZR2, for a mid-sized truck, I fit in the ZR2 really well. Entry, exit, in and out, whatever you want to use words. I get in and out really easy, lots of room. The interior needs to be redone a little bit. I know I'm a simple guy, but it just feels like it's old in there. But yeah, I like the ZR2 a lot too. I like the ZR2 a lot. I like the ZR2 in gas. I'm not sure I like the ZR2 in diesel. I'm not sure about that one. Gas though, gas is phenomenal. Um, Toto copy Rams four link call suspension follow leader. Yeah, I, well Rams gonna or Toto's gonna cherry pick what they want. That's what they're doing. They're sitting by cherry pick what they want. Um, and, yeah. So V eight V six. Uh, yeah, there are two only operators run. What about a twenty twenty F three fifty Super Duty trimmer? Dude, <laughs> dude, that is a truck. Now I said I didn't like the. What is going on back there? All right, knock it off. Um, I said I didn't like the ride quality of the 2020 F-250 I had. And I can tell you what, I was happy to get the keys back to that truck. That truck hurt my back. And people were bitching me about it. But I said, you know, solid front axles are fine, and I get it, but that truck rode hard. Now, I bring that up to say this, is that the Tremor has the off-road suspension and the better sho the different shocks. Oh, I can't, are they Fox or Rancho? One of the two. Anyways, they have better shocks. And so when they have the better shocks and that suspension set up, off-road trucks ride a lot better than stock trucks. And so I would do the F350 with a Tremor because that ride quality would be better than the stock F350. So that's a good choice. Um, the 350 is cool. I'm a big fan of the 350. Super Duty, Super Duty is awesome. It's like, the thing with Ford that, that people don't understand is, is Ford understands their truck customers really well, and they're not gonna make mistakes. Like they, they, you know, they may have a little issue with the EcoBoost here, like the intercooler, things like that. The issue here, you may not like them, you may not like the interior, whatever. To me, it's kind of like hating on the Yankees, right? The Yankees always win the World Series, whatever. That's kind of Ford, right? The Ford always is number one truck sales, number one this, that, and other. And it's a little bit of a statistical BS going on, but they still can get their claim. And so to me, it's like you're, you're kind of hating on the Yankees and and I got to give them props I mean they, they have done a good job over the years of building a good truck and whether or not the rest of the company is like weird and whether or not they make money anywhere else that truck team knows what the hell they're doing yeah I hate a vehicle that you want to get back yeah there, there's times that it's like I, I would rather drive my 62 yeah really for sure mm. oh sorry yeah sorry too big to fail I was Let's go over that. Uh, Tim, if you were a Chevy PR person, how would you sell the interior of the Silverado versus the Ram? Tough job. It's, it, they're doing the function of reform. They're saying, you know, why do you need those bells and whistles, things like that. So, oh, the mountain's blue. They are blue. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I was thinking about doing this today, and I'll just do this video here, is that I was driving the Rebel, and I went to, to um, go to the car wash. I went to the car wash. And it occurred to me, it occurred to me, that the Rebel does not have an antenna, a, 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 you know, a steel antenna, right? Because, I'm gonna burp, I'm sorry. But it doesn't have a steel antenna. Because using car washes, right, you gotta take off the antenna before you go through the car wash because it gets all, it gets jacked up, right? And I noticed today that the Ram Rebel didn't have the, the antenna. And you guys are going, how much was in that beer? Did he drink it all? No, th I'm getting to this point. This is the point I'm getting to, is that Chevy says, you have to have the antenna because it's better AM, FM stereo, right? And they say you don't need adaptive cruise control because customers don't use that, you know, whatever. And Ram's like, hey, check it out. You're going to listen to our Sirius XM. We have the new Sirius XM. You can rewind the station. It tells you when your favorites are getting played. You click the button. There you are. Right? It's cool. And Chevy's like, you know, AM radio is really cool. And Ram's like, check it out. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll give you aero suspension and all these digital dashes and such. And Chevy's like, okay, so we kind of updated our dash a little bit, but that's cool, because that's all you guys need is truck customers. And Ford's like, what we did for you working customers is we're gonna make some big changes to this truck and make it very 
very much better about working. All we're doing is focusing on work. Work, work, work. We're putting a plug in here. We're putting a plug in there. We're going to use your truck at the job site. We're focused on you being work. And Chevy's like, yeah, these guys are going to use it out here in the work, but they're also going to kind of drive around town because they're Chevy guys. And Ram's like, well, here. Go ahead and hold my beer there, Chevy. Check it out. I'm doing a Rebel. I'm doing a Diesel. I'm doing all sorts of crazy interiors. I'm doing, I'm throwing the whole boatload of stuff in there. And it's just a really interesting marketplace. And Toyota's like, that's cool and all, but, you know, our truck will drive through a brick wall and still keep going. And Nissan's like, hey, where'd our invite to the party go? We want a beer too, guys. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought was that. There you go. There's my, uh, I actually did like a four. <laughs> I should have done a separate video. I'm going to make like $9. Um, yeah, I guess the GM customers older than Ram customers, the AM, FM radio is party. I think so. I think it really is. That really is true. Um, yeah. Mm. You connect is awesome. And if you saw the video, you connect five is going to be phenomenal. Yeah. Tim's fresh, funny so. It's local trucks that are old, like cement trucks. I did do, a, uh, I've done a couple things in the 62. I need to do some more on my Swede truck. And uh, I'll do it on my personal channel. I'm doing a personal channel, so I'm trying to get there. Nissan says, someone drank all the beer. Can I have one too? <laughs> just like, I, I don't know. I don't understand. They're like, here, we have a great warranty. I'm like, okay. Let's <laughs> see another thing with, with people that don't know run older D trucks that make serious cash. All right. 55 people listening to you live in front of you. That's, uh, uh, Joe, that still blows my mind. I don't know how many people you get. I don't know how you guys stick around. One of the Koreans coming out of the truck there, it's the Hyundai Santa Cruz. That's going to be like a Subaru Baja truck thing. All right. That's an hour, folks. Is it six? I've, I started early. Should I give you guys four more minutes? Am I doing this for you? I think I'm doing this for you. Yeah, I, I don't... I mean, the, the warranty is transferable starting in the 2020 model year, which is cool. So, like, if you buy a new Titan and you sell it, you can transfer that warranty to somebody else. That's cool. I don't think it's backwards compatible, though. Yeah, I know. I'm working on the four minutes. You guys get my hour. And with 30,000... Wait, wait. Do we pass 30,000? Hold on. Did we pass 30? I, I, was I was close. I think we were close. Survey says. It's close. It's damn. I think YouTube's rounding up. All right. I'm at 29,982. That's what YouTube tells me. So, yeah, we're getting close. But uh, I'm adding like uh, 60 to 80 a day or something like that. Close enough to call. <laughs> we're NBC News. We're calling the uh, race here in the race 3000. We're calling the number. We're, this is a done deal. You make an extra count. <laughs> yeah, because uh, of my guys like the F one fifty red cab, six and a half foot bed, but they are rare dealers. People aren't buying those. And somebody asked me today about that on a different video, and um, I would be surprised if Ford keeps building them. You know, additional cost on the line to build them. Uh, Cafe kind of does a footprint now, so it's kind of those things. And customer demand is really down on those. I remember when you were just triple digits. <laughs> yeah, Dan. Dan's been around for a long time. Dan's been a fan for a long time. It, I oh, the early podcast, early live streams were just crazy. It was just crazy. Mm. Yeah. So if you type in Tim Estradal, you will find my uh, golf channel. I'm doing more with that. I my I uh I <laughs> my swing is really bad right now on a camera. I'm working on that one. I'm working on that one. Single cab log bed. That's about it. That's about the future. I can share my channel. Uh, dealers don't know what month about Nissan Nation. Yeah. Uh, it's Dealers are really hurting Nissan. I, I think that's the biggest problem is that Nissan dealers are used to selling cars. And all of a sudden they got to sell trucks. And so it's like, yeah. I, have different, I do. I, I get dressed up for golf. I wear a nice shirt and I have a nice hat. Yeah, Joe's on my golf video. De yeah, you forget. About, yeah, Johnny, <laughs> that's right. I have. If anybody's got a wrench, basically all the people that wrenches that are mods and uh, admins or whatever you call them they, on the channel have been around since day one. And this is a long time ago. I've been doing this now for, I think it's been going on two and a half, three years, something like that. Yep, Juan's been here too. And um, it's been a lot of work. If anybody ever tells you that starting a YouTube channel is easy. Yeah, I got a lot of burps. Anyways. I, uh, yeah, I'm talking like two, three years. I have 600, I actually probably have 700 videos by now. And yeah, uh, golf and pool, similar, just activity. It is a lot of work. <laughs> William knows it. It's a lot of work. 600 and some videos, growing a community, 
branding. Oh, it's just crazy. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have dinner actually. I uh, was on a conference call. I had to get off the conference call to do this video. Then I had to, had to grab a quick snack and <sighs> yeah, the stuff I do for you. Yeah, stuff I do for you. All right. I feel like you invest a lot of time. You actually, actually, Johnny and Juan and uh, no, I don't forget about Johnny and Juan and Dave Nissan Nation. He's been there too. Elliot, Dan Soderman, Soderholm has been here for a long time. Those guys have really invested a lot of stuff too. We see a video about FM50. That will be live, I think, right after the other one. Yep. Good night. Yep. I'm out of here too, guys. I'm not sure what the embargo time. If I'm gonna do it same time they bail the truck, it'll probably be a little bit afterwards. Cause I want you guys to watch truck video, then watch my video kind of deal. I think that's what's gonna happen. But I'll schedule it all out. You guys can watch whatever you want to watch, and it's been a good time. And check out the old videos. The old videos are great. I have uh, a ton of old videos are really fun. All right, I am out of here. 7 o'clock on my time, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for being a part of the channel. You guys make this happen. You keep me going. You energize me. It is just freaking awesome. So I really do appreciate that. And, yeah, Johnny Fi's got a hat. If you don't have a hat, hit, out me, hit me up. People are wearing a hat off, a hat all over the country. I've seen somebody posted today a hat was going to Lake Tahoe. Uh, yeah, very cool. Very cool. Thanks, guys. I will see you down the road.